Recording voiceovers can be tedious, especially if it's a long voiceover. I've recorded many for YouTube videos, radio, for podcasts, for ads, and here are some tips and tricks that I've discovered that will help you get through those long recordings. And stick around to the last one because this one is going to make your editing process so much simpler. The first tip is choose your software wisely. You want to make sure to find a software that makes this an easy process. Something that I really hate is recording on something like Adobe Audition, pressing record, and then switching tabs to the web browser to read from my script. At this point, I can't monitor audio levels or make sure the recording doesn't stop for some reason. I want to have everything on the screen in front of me. The reason I like to use Riverside to record my voiceovers is because I can have my voiceover script on the screen while I record my voiceover. And over here, I can keep an eye on my audio levels to make sure that I'm not peaking. Yes, you'll see video being recorded here, but you can also set the studio to record audio only. Tip number two is start from the beginning of the sentence when you mess up. It's natural to mess up, but when you do, you want to begin from starting, but when you do, you want to start from either the beginning of the sentence or the beginning of the paragraph. See what I did there? Now I can edit it together seamlessly and you wouldn't even know that I messed up the original recording. It's natural to mess up, but when you do, you want to start from either the beginning of the sentence or the beginning of the paragraph. Whereas if I started from the word I messed up on, the sentence flow would be hard to put together in post-production see here. It's natural to mess up, but when you do, you want to start from either the beginning of the sentence or the beginning of the paragraph. Tip number three is to edit your script like the way you speak. So this one will only work if you're writing your own scripts or if the person writing your script is flexible with you making some changes. But before you start recording, read through your script out loud and fix any sentences that feel funky to say. This is going to make for way less mistakes during the recording process. But this next trick is a great hack for minimizing mistakes. Tip number four is to take breaks throughout the recording. If you're anything like me, you'll just want to power through the recording to get it done and check it off your task list. Throughout the recording, your voice gets dry, your eyes get tired from reading, you get bored from the script. All of that is reflected in the way your voiceover sounds. You want to keep your energy levels up, you want to have less mistakes to edit out during the editing process, and you want your voice to sound crisp the whole time. So break up your script into chunks. Record a chunk, Go get a glass of water, take a walk around the block, do some yoga, take your eyes off the screen for a bit, and then come back to it a little bit later and record the next chunk. This is going to help you be refreshed and ready to record, and your listeners will be more engaged as well. All right, our last tip. This is a weird one, but super valuable. Hear me out. Tip number five is to use a dog clicker or clap to mark in the waveform when you mess up. So every time you mess up a line, you want to try to communicate with your post-production person, maybe an editor, maybe it's yourself, that you messed up. This is going to allow you to not have to listen to a bajillion takes, and you can see them in the waveform and just eliminate them. So I'm going to record a... So I'm going to record a... So I'm going to record a sentence so that you can see what this looks like in the waveform. This is going to help a lot with... This is gonna help you eliminate any takes that aren't good. So now I'm going to look through the waveform on the Riverside editor and I see claps here. I'm just going to assume that if it isn't followed by a clap, it's a good take. Now I'm just gonna delete every sentence that's followed by a clap by deleting the section from the timeline. To do this, split the clip and select the part that you want to delete and press delete on your keyboard. So I'm going to record a sentence so that you can see what this looks like in the waveform. This is going to help you eliminate any takes that aren't good. There you go. That's five tips and tricks that you can use to get through those dreaded long voiceover recordings and make the process a little bit more seamless. If you have any other tips or tricks, make sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want more content like this. My name's Bridget, and I'll see you next time.